Hello, welcome to Sigma Tech Learning Hub. I will be your instructor for further mathematics. For this class, we are going to be taking our exercises from the exam guide app. If you don't have the application already installed on your device, I will want you to download the app in order to follow along in this class. Exam guide is a leading educational app that helps students prepare adequately for various exams like UTME, post UTME, YEC, GC, KCPE, IJMB, JUPEP, Carbopedia, BESE, JSCE, NCEE, NECO, ETC. You can download the app from www.examguide.com or Google Play Store. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to be updated on new videos. Ready for today's class? Okay, let's get started. Welcome once again, still on differentiation. But this time around, we're going to look at an implicit function. At the end of this lesson, you're expected to understand implicit function. Use the first principle to solve differentiation problem. Implicit function. An implicit function is known when y is not a function. How do I mean? When there's a product rule existing in a question, look at this. Let's say x plus 2xy minus 3s equals 0. In this case, y is not made to be a function. So you create the y ds in between. So that's how you know an implicit function. y is not made to be a function, unlike when you say y equals x squared, this is not an implicit function because y is made to be a function. y is a function of what? x squared. So, but in this case, it's not a function of f instead is involved in the process. So, example one, if 2x squared plus xy plus 3y equals 0, find the y ds. This is an implicit differentiation. We are having 2x squared plus xy plus 3y equals 0. Let us differentiate s. 2 times 2, x2 two minus 1 plus we differentiate x here. When we differentiate x with respect to x, you have y. Now we now differentiate y with respect to s. We now have o, x dy ds. Look at how dy ds is created from the question given. It's not assigned separately. So plus 3 dy ds equals 0. That is differentiating y with respect to s. So we we'll have 4x plus y plus x dy ds plus 3 dy ds equals 0. Now, factor out dy ds from here. You are going to have x plus 3 all into dy ds plus 4x plus y equals 0. The next thing here Allow the s dy, dy ds to be at the left hand side while you transfer the one you differentiated with respect to y, that is minus 4x minus y. Now make the y ds subject of the formula. The y ds equals minus 4x minus y all over x plus 3. Hence, dy ds equals what? Minus 4x minus y all over x plus 3. That is the solution to that question. Now let us take a look at another question here. If 6s 
squared y plus 6sy plus 3y equals 50. Now we have a bigger number this time around. But it doesn't count, it doesn't matter. Every constant in differentiation is just zero. So B to 1000, you don't have problem about that. So what do you have here? We have 6s squared y plus 6xy plus 3y equals what, 50. Now we differentiate x with respect to y. So differentiating x will give us 6 times 2 times s2 minus 1y. Multiply by y. Plus differentiating y with respect to s, you have 6s squared, then dy, ds. Now this, differentiating s, with respect to y will give us 6y. Now differentiating y with respect to s will give us 6s dy ds plus 3 dy ds equals 0. A constant in differentiation is what? 0. So we we'll have that 6 times 2 is 12 into sy plus 6s squared dy ds plus 6y plus 6s dy ds plus 3 dy ds equals 0. What next is to factor, bring all the dy ds together, meaning 6s squared dy ds plus 6s dy ds plus 3 dy ds plus 12xy plus 6y equals 0. So factor dy ds out. We have 6s squared plus 6s plus 3 all into dy ds equals minus 12xy minus 6y. When you transfer this to the right hand side. So making dy ds subject of the formula here then dy ds equals minus 12xy minus 6y all over who? 6s squared plus 6s plus 3. If you like, you can factorize. When you factor out here, what is common on top, we'll have 6 is common into minus 2xy minus y all over 3 into 2s squared plus 2 plus 1, 2s plus 1. That becomes the final answer to that question. So the implicit function here, it does that the y the s will give us what? Minus 12sy minus 6y, all over who? 6s squared plus 6s plus 3. So when you factor it out, According to what you want to do, it's still the same thing. Look at this, find the gradient at what? 4 comma 2, given that s squared y plus 6 sy plus 3y equals what? 5. Meaning we are interested in the slope of the gradient of the point, or be it a curve, as the case may be. Now, you have to recall something back about gradients. Gradients, we know, is what? y2 minus y1 all over s2 minus s1. But in this case, we are having only y1 and s1, meaning we are not going to make use of that. And as we know, we, uh, we know that for gradient, n, or a slope of a graph, for gradient, m equals y2 minus y1 all over s2 minus s1. You can also have that y equals ms plus c. You also have this to be equal to this y minus y1 all over s minus s1. But all this long protocol here, just when you want to form a given equation, that is, during application of differentiation, we shall be talking about distance. That is, find the equation of this, equation of the normal, equation of perpendicular, when it is parallel. That is when we we'll continue, we we'll begin to talk, talk about parallelism and the perpendicularity. But at this 
point, what we need is just ordinary gradient, which means dy ds. So let us consider how we can see how we can get this dy ds. We we'll have that s squared y plus who? 6xy plus 3y equals who? 5. Fine. Let us differentiate. This is an implicit function, as we all know. So, differentiating s with respect to y, we have this. Now, differentiate y with respect to s, you have this dy ds, okay? Plus 6y, when you differentiate s, plus 6s, when you differentiate y, that's why you're having dy ds. Indicating or showing that you have differentiated y. Now, bringing them together, you have s squared, dy ds plus 6s dy ds plus 3 dy ds equals minus 2sy minus 6y. Okay. So I have to factor out here this, this plus this into this dy all over ds equals minus 2sy minus 6y. So making the y ds subject of the formula we are going to see that the y ds will leave us with minus 2sy minus 6y divided by s squared plus 6s plus 3. So the y ds is this. But the question is at the point 4 comma 2. Find the slope. Find the gradient. That is the y ds, which is m equals who at the point there is minus two what is s four what is y two minus six what is y two all over what is s four square plus six times s which is four plus three to give us what this is eight minus sixteen minus twelve divided by sixteen plus twenty four plus three to give us minus 28 all over this is 30 43 43 so our slope or gradient equals what minus 28 all over 43 that is it let us consider another thing here still on this differentiation issue but we are going to apply first principle this time around to what we have. Let's see how we can do that. You know, ordinarily, we have been using the general method to solve or get a particular solution. For instance, when we differentiate, if we differentiate, uh, let's say, uh, x plus 1, we all know that it's going to give us 1. But this time around, this thing is more than just applying any s raised to the power n minus 1. The first principle is talking about if y, given that y is a function of this f of s, that y changing y, y plus changing y is equals f of changing x. That's changing x. Meaning, there must be a question given to you. Let's look at this question. If y is this. We'll now say changing y plus who? y. What is y? s plus 1 equals f of, meaning the first value for s that is into x plus change in s, then plus 1, because this is a constant. That is here, give us s plus change in x, as the case may be. OK. Now, we are going to do something here. Change in y plus x plus 1 equals x plus change in s plus 1. Just open the bracket so that it will be open. 
Now what do you do? You make this collect like things by saying x plus change in x plus one. If you transfer this, it will give us minus x plus one. Let us interpret the real. Abi? Minus s minus one. Can you see this? S into minus s and plus one into minus one. What would it mean now? Change in y will be what? Change in x only. Now, one will divide through by what? Change in x. We're going to divide through by changing s, meaning the y, the s. Cancel, cancel. The y, the s equals to one. What is going on? Can you see it? One, one. But this time around, they chose a more complex form called the first principle. And you have to take your time to understand what this process is talking about. What did I have y as a function of s, uh, f of s, meaning the general formula this into this is this. The formula, if y is this, this is changing y, then what is y? s plus 1, you bring it in, then into this, f of this gentleman, what is this? You have s, s plus change in s, plus the major person you're talking about, the constant. So you collect like terms here, when you do that, you can see that s will cancel s. At the end, it will leave us with what? Change in y equals to change in s. But the rule here in first principle, you divide through by what? Change in s. If there's any element of change in s remaining, you now recall when change in s approaches, appro uh, 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 approaches zero, when you introduce zero, but this time around, when we divided, nothing was left. It is only a value, which is one, which is now a solution to this question. Therefore, the y, the s, from first principle is one. From general formula is also one. So that's how we're going to be doing it. We'll check from general formula. You now apply the first principle. You see that what you're doing is the same. This is another sample. This second sample, let's see what it will give to us. We are having this question that is y is a function of this 2x plus 3, OK? So what do you have? Recall your formula, the y. Change in y plus this equals to f of s plus change in s, OK? That is the content of s plus change in s. What is the content of s here? Here we are having that. Change in y plus 2s plus 3 equals f of this. The value for this is who? 2 into who? x plus change in s plus the constant. What is going on? Can you see what I'm doing? That's that. OK. I have to try to expand this, this multiply by this. That will have this plus this, change in s plus this, OK? Now, let us have this in mind from general formula, a n s power m minus 1. The constant is 2. The power is 1. Then the s into the power into this. This will give us 2 times this, s power 0. 2 times 1 equals 2. Have it in mind that the solution must result to what? 2. From first principle. Now, we are having this dy, change of y plus 2s plus 3. No need for repetition. Let's just collect the like terms. 2s plus 2 change in s plus 3 minus 2s minus 3s. This guy here, this guy here, this here, this here. What would remain? Change in y equals 2 change in s. OK. Dividing through by the s, change in s.
So change in y, all of us change in s equals to what? 2. Therefore, the answer from first principle is still the same answer in the general formula. Okay, this is just the starting point of the first principle. We are going to see a higher, a little higher one now and see how it is applied. This is just an S square. Okay, in this case, I have S square as a question. That's why being a function of S squared. If y is this, from first principle, find the y ds, okay? General formula, n, s, n minus 1, this will give us what? 2s. Just have it in mind. Now let us solve. Using first principle, change in y plus y equals f of s plus change in s. So, Change in y equals, what do you say, y? s squared plus s squared equals who? f. The value, the coefficient of s squared, just one, so it's needless. So what do you do? s plus who? Change in s. But what is the power? It's 2. Watch very well. Just be vigilant. As you are watching, try to read meanings into what you are reading or what you are studying. So, Changing y plus s squared equals what? S plus change in s into s plus change in s. Can you see what's going on? Now, let us still leave our left-hand side, believing that left-hand side equals this. This term is s squared, okay? Plus who? x dot change in s plus s dot change in s plus change in s all square. Left hand side equals s squared plus who? 2s change in s plus who? Change in s all square. Good. Now, bringing down the value of the left hand side, that is change in y plus s squared equals who? s squared plus 2s change in s plus change in s all square. Collecting the like terms here, change in y equals to s squared plus 2s squared, the change in s plus change in s all squared minus s squared. You can see s squared is equal to the other s squared, but the sign uh, in the opposite direction, meaning s squared canceling s squared. It's going to leave us with what? Change in y equals what? 2x change in x plus who? Change in s all squared. Guys, what's going on? Now, the real interpretation of what you are having here now is going to look this way. You say dividing through by changing x, okay? So what is happening? Changing y all over changing s is going to be what? 2x plus who? We have one change in s. Recall that I told you whenever you have a change in s remaining, you got to say, when changing s approaches what? Zero. Let's see what will happen. If the gentleman approaches zero, meaning that change in y, all of a change in s is going to give us 2x plus who? Zero. Therefore, the y, the s equals to 2x. What, is, what do you see? Are they the same? Yes, the same thing. I know some of you will say, why am I bothering myself to be so doing this, apply this long method? Be careful. If in fundamental so why I said, use first principle to solve. What do you do? Use first principle to solve. Don't say, okay, I know the shortcut. Let me just write answer. I bet you, you will end up getting just one mark from that question which will be awarded to the final solution, except if you're lucky enough, if the final award for the final answer 
is two marks. It means you are scoring either two over six because you refuse to follow instruction, you refuse to obey the instruction. So you must obey the instruction given to you. So that's one part of the first principle. Let's see another part that look as if it's a heavy thing. Anyway, you can see this. Using the first principle, find the word derivative of 1 over s squared. Good. In this case, let's see what happened. If this is to be the ordinary one, let's using ordinary methods, let's see what will happen in this case. Okay. Now, our current law of indices, interpreting this, this implies what? Minus 2. Now, from general methods, our answer is going to be what? Minus 2 into S, minus 2, minus 1, to imply what? Minus 2, S minus 3, to give us what? Minus 2 all over S power 3. This is the solution. Now, let us see how we can achieve this from the first principle. How do we achieve this? Okay, let's go. Using the first principle, if y equals 1 over s squared, recall the y plus y equals f of s, this change the s, no cause for alarm, the y ds plus y, which is 1 over s squared, equals 1 all over this function. So don't be scared. So what is the function? s plus the change in s all squared. Okay. Now we got to expand this by giving us one all over s plus change in s into s plus change in s. So left hand side, I don't want to be wasting my time much here. So s squared plus s change in s plus s change in s plus change in s all squared. Left hand side equals 1 all over s squared plus 2s change in s plus change in s all squared. Okay, now something will happen. What's going to happen here? We we'll invite this gentleman. That is changing y equals one all over s squared plus two s changing s plus changing s r squared minus two one all over s squared. It means that we are going to take the LCM of this, the denominators. So the LCM here. Bear it in mind, change in y equals our LCM s squared plus 2s change in s plus change in s r squared into this s squared. Okay, this going, it will leave us with what? s squared, all right. The minus, this going, it will leave us with who? Minus s squared minus 2s change in s minus change in s r square. Okay, that is the fun, the beauty of it. So what do you have now? This will go, this will go. So what do you think will remain? Change in y equals to minus 2s change in s minus who? Change in s r square divided by who? s squared plus 2s change in s plus change in s r squared into s squared. So what next now? We are going to divide through by changing s, but only the numerator. Be very careful, the numerator. So we will have minus 2x change in s, all over change in s minus change in s uh, squared change in y equals this 
all over this, maintaining this, we are still going to maintain this. into S squared. So I want to continue from this place. So if I do, well, what we are going to have is the Y all over the S equals minus 2S minus change in S divided by S squared plus 2S change in S plus change in S R squared, R squared. If change in S approaches zero, the Y all over the S will give us minus 2S minus zero all over S squared plus 2S times zero plus zero squared R S squared. We are going to have minus 2s all over. This is 0, 0, s squared dot s squared. To give us what? Minus 2s all over who? s raised to the power 4. This will now give us minus 2 all over x raised to the power 3. Therefore, change in y all over change in s equals what? Minus 2 all over x raised to power 3, which is the same thing from the what? General formula. Can you see to that? The same thing. So that is the solution to that question. We shall continue from a harder ones in our next class. A question such as the ones in root and then will not talk of application of differentiation. Thank you for participating in today's class. You can practice more questions using the exam guide app. The app scores and give a detailed explanation of all the questions at the end of your practice test. You can learn a particular topic of interest with different modes like study mode, mock mode, and practice mode. It also has other features that make learning fun. It is a must for all serial students. Download from www.examguide.com if you don't have it yet. See you in the next class. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell and share the videos to people that will benefit from it. Bye.